Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to the first official episode of the Madden 18 Minnesota Vikings Connected Franchise Series. Now, I do apologize because I know everybody's been looking forward to this series for the past week or so. Kind of been delayed, and there's a big reason why that is the case. First of all, I'll let you guys vote on the previous episode, the introduction episode, how you wanted me to run this series. And with 66.86% of the votes, almost a thousand votes more than the other option, you guys will need to run this series just like I did in my previous Connected Franchise series where I let you guys suggest trades, I go after those trades, etc, etc. So a lot of trades are going to be happening in this series. But the reason I've been torn and it's taken me so long to bring out this episode is because the trading in this game is impossible. I mean, almost freaking impossible. Like, to get the big stars like we did in the last couple series, there, there's genuinely no way it will happen. Let me just show you guys, for example, this is not me complaining. It's just me just worried that the series isn't going to live up to the hype. And I've been torn because I didn't know what to do because I don't want to come out with some bullcrap episodes. I want it to be as exciting as the previous episodes and previous series were. But, like, with the way they, they made trading in this new game... It's, it's genuinely impossible to get anybody worth anything. And just for example, and just to put it into perspective, me and a couple of my real life friends did a Connected Franchise Fantasy Draft. Well, I was just trying to trade around some players, and number one, I couldn't get any trades to go through. You cannot trade for any quarterback. It's genuinely impossible to get a quarterback unless you trade like maybe Julio Jones, Rob Gronkowski, those kind of players. Even like for your just mediocre quarterbacks, it's impossible to get. And for number two, when you trade away players, you can't get any value in return. Like, I had Ben Roethlisberger from the fantasy draft, and I didn't want him. And I tried trading him and a first-round draft pick to whoever had Miles Jack, and it wasn't even out of the red. Like, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And the reason I say this is because I'm just worried that, and the reason I just, I was trying to delay this as much as possible, because I'm just genuinely worried you guys aren't going to enjoy this, because I, I highly doubt the big deals are going to be able to go through like in previous series. I'm going to try my best, but I just want you guys to know going in, and when you suggest your trade attempts moving forward, try your best not to suggest the big star players because it's just not going to happen like it did in the past. They said going into this year, they nerfed the trading system so it wasn't as easy, but they nerfed it too much where it's just not fun and it's impossible to bring in anybody of value whatsoever. Now, we are going to attempt trades every single episode like previous but i'm just i just want you guys to know going in i just i don't want this series to be a disappointment because i have no control over how much they nerf the trades i'm gonna do my best to try to make everybody happy but that's just why this series took a while because i just was going back and forth with what i wanted to do now number two with 400 something thumbs up you this guy says please do not live stream this series i'm not gonna the only reason i live streamed the texan series was because i was trying to finish the series before Madden 18 came out, and nope, I don't understand why you guys didn't understand that, but this series is not going to be live streamed, so do not worry about that. So that said, I think I got everything out of the way. If you guys still think you're going to enjoy the series, although we're not probably going to get nearly as many trades to go through like in previous series, please let me know by dropping a like, because that would make me feel a lot better about making this series going forward, because genuinely the only reason I delayed it is because I just like, I'm worried to bring this out, because I don't want it to be a disappointment, because a lot of you guys enjoy this series more than anything else on my channel. So like, I just don't want you guys to go into this and expect me to get Julio Jones and Tom Brady every episode, because it's, it's just not going to happen. Not that it happened before, but it's just not going to happen at all, ever, in this series. So, <laughs> with that said, why don't we go ahead and start to make some deals happen? I have a couple trade suggestions now. I'm not going to do as many in this episode because half the top rated comments were like your top players, like Julio Jones. Somebody even suggested Anthony Barr. God dang, we're the Vikings. Anthony Barr's already on a team. You watch the video? God dang, he's right here on the team. So at least we got one player you wanted, although we didn't have to do anything to get him. But anyways, a lot of the players suggested were the top players, and that's just not going to happen. So please leave your trade suggestions in the comment section below, but leave more realistic options. Like, maybe we can get older players. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm leaving it up to you guys, but just, I, I, I don't know what to do if every single episode it's just the top players in the league, like 90 plus overall players with the top ready comments, because it's just, it's not going to freaking happen. So, as always, though, leave your trade suggestions in the comment section below, and the ones with most thumbs up will be the ones I go after, but just be smart about it, please. And, like, the rookies are hard to get, too. God dang, you cannot get rookies. You freaking cannot get rookies. I tried that in my connected franchise with my buddies, and nah, nope, it ain't gonna happen. 
you have to freaking cut off your god dang winky and your legs to trade away to get that player. But anyways, let's do some business. Before we get into the trades though, I, I'm going to try to make this team as good as possible using every single resource. And one of those resources is free agency. When you have an 89 overall player like that you can just get as a free agent, I'm going to freaking get him. He's out with a fractured hip, which kind of hurts. Which I could have swore I turned off pre-existing injuries. So that's kind of weird that he's injured, although the pre-existing injuries are off. So that's another thing they did. There's a lot of things they did not change from last year's game to this year's game. Like little things like that. Like turning pre-existing injury off should mean going into the franchise no players are hurt. But yet, that's still the case. That used to glitch and happen last year. Another thing is like, I know I'm just kind of talking out my butt right now, but in last year's game when you used to trade for draft picks, Every time you trade for draft picks and you were like stayed in the trade menu, you would have to back all the way out, then back all the way back in for them to show up. And it's just like a little thing, like little things like that they should fix from one year's game to the other. And that's still the case in this year's game. So it's just little things like that. Like you turn off pre-existing injury for a reason. The players should not be injured, but that's just a little side rant. But I am going to sign some free agents just to have on the team to try to make better trades. Genuinely the only reason. So anyways, Dennis Pitta, I know he's out for 29 weeks, although pre-existing injuries are off. But we're going to sign him for $4.52 million and potentially trade him away. Next, we do need a center. And why not just go ahead and sign a center out of free agency? He's only $3.35 million. He'll be a starting center. So, I mean, these are the free agents that are real free agents in real life. Tremaine Brock, he's $5 million. So, okay, I'm going to chill for a second. We do need a second middle linebacker, though. And Perry Riley isn't bad I run the 3-4 uh do okay let's chill for a second Nick Mango we already got a D or a center anybody else we should get just on a drill he's why well, the center so much I mean the, the cornerback so much so we're not gonna get I'm not gonna spend like way too freaking much now we do need a right tackle though and Austin Pastor for only three million and he's still relatively young we're gonna sign him too so we sound like three players that we could potentially just trade away for nothing and I think that was a smart move. I think anybody else we should get any young players down here that we should potentially sign because once we advance to next week, they'll probably all be gone. So I have to be smart right here. Maybe, just maybe. What should I do? What should I do, guys? You know what? Just to, to do it while I can, I'm going to go ahead and sign Ladarius Green too because he's an 87 overall and we can trade him away. So we'll have 10 million left after this, which I still have some ideas, which will free up some cap space. But I just did that just to try to trade them away. Like, they, they'll be decent backups, you know, with Darius Green and Dennis Penn if we don't trade them away, but I'm going to trade them away. So anyways, let's now move on to the trades. And the most thumbed up comment by far, and this one had like god dang 400 something thumbs up. 412 thumbs up. And there was about a thousand comments with this dude's name in it. You guys want me to get Marshawn Lynch. And now, when I went over the initial episode and talked about the positions of need, I said we did not need a running back because we have three. Well, I mean, obviously you guys didn't care because you want me to get Marshawn Lynch. Now, with that said, we're going to get Marshawn Lynch or we're going to at least attempt to because it's god dang impossible to get players. But anyways, we are going to eventually trade away running these, one of these running backs. I'm not going to trade away Dalvin Cook because this dude's a beast. And he's a rookie. And you guys love rookies, obviously, I can tell from the suggested comments. But either Latavius Murray or Jarek McKinnon are going to be traded away in a future episode. But that's if we get Marshawn Lynch, which very well may not happen. So let's go to the Oakland Raiders, which I already passed up. And I think he's an 87 overall. And the thing is, he's going to retire like ASAP. But he's only 1.15 million. Now, what do they need? Let me just throw in one of the tight ends we just got. Dennis Pitta, he's injured. They're not interested in him. Let me just... <laughs> who knows with this game? From everybody I talk to that do a lot of connected franchise episodes and do, like, rebuilds and stuff, they say the trade is so weird. Like, sometimes it'll be impossible, but sometimes you won't understand why a trade goes through. So let me just see what this looks like. And look at that. An 89 for an 87. Jesus Christ. Uh, that, yeah. <laughs> What's a... So... What about just a straight-up draft pick for Marshawn Lynch? What about a fifth? He's old. Hot darn. Hot freaking darn. This is going to be difficult, fellas. I am going to eventually trade away Sam Bradford. But do I trade him away to the Raiders or do I trade him away to a team that needs a quarterback? So we're going to chill on that front for a second as well. 
They need a left end and a right end. I'm not going to trade away Everson Griffin. Maybe they'll take Dayton Jones off my books. Now, this is interesting. They are interested in him. Let me just see what type of draft pick, if I can add in a draft pick too, because I have no idea how this game works. So maybe it won't even go through straight up. Like in past games, with Marshawn Lynch being 30 years old, this would have gone through easy. Easy. I probably could have got like a third or fourth round draft pick as well in this deal. But with this being Madden 18, hot nern. Uh, we have a ton of players we can trade away. They also need a free safety. And we have a free safety that's halfway decent that we can add to this deal. Antoine Exum. What if I just throw him in? How much up does this just it doesn't go up at all? <sighs> I'm going to make this go through because, I mean, th in the last Connected Franchise series, he was the most thumbed up comment every single episode. And this one, he is as well. Let me just, well, I don't know what to add. Maybe I just end up adding a draft pick for Marshawn Lynch. I don't know. If Fatty other than Ingebo, do we <laughs> trade him? How about Will Sutton? They need a defensive tackle. Okay, they are interested in him. This might actually go through. How about a fourth added to this deal as well, and it's in the yellow. Will it go through? I think it would go through straight up, but I'm like, you guys know me. I try to milk every little bit I can out of every single deal. It's in the green, so maybe it won't go through straight up, and it won't. So they need a middle linebacker, and we only have two, so I'm not going to trade away a middle linebacker. And just leave me with one. But they do need a... We already went over free safeties. How about I add him in now? Would this go through... Oh, it still does this. It still just likes to mess with your mind. I have a freaking blister on my lip from getting sunburned, and it hurts to talk. So I'm trying my best, boys. Let's throw in just a six-round draft pick. Six-round draft pick has got to be enough, and it was accepted. So we trade away Dayton Jones, Will Sutton, and a six-round draft pick to bring in the beast mode. That is Mar Sean Lynch. Pretty freaking excited about that, although, like I said, we have a 1,000 running backs now. But I still think he could be pretty vital in this series, and I just know, at least, no matter what happens from now on, you guys are happy about that trade. And also, within that same comment, you guys want me to bring in Randall Cobb. We are going to attempt this, but this is a deal I really do not see happening whatsoever. We do need another wide receiver, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> I don't freaking know about it. So let me just see by chance if they're interested in Dennis Pitta. I don't know if they are, and yep, it's not even out the red. So let's continue. They need a cornerback. What type of cornerback do we have we could trade away? Trey Waynes, Mackenzie Alexander. They are interested in Trey Waynes. Oh my God. Okay, now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. You guys are gonna think I was lying to you because <laughs> this doesn't seem like it should go through. Now, see, this, hey, this is where it gets weird. I promise. I promise. This is where I think the guys were telling me. You don't, it doesn't make sense because sometimes it seems like it's way too hard. Now, this seems like it's way too god dang easy. Randall Cobb's a freaking good player. And although Trey Waynes is good too and he's young, that still doesn't seem like it should go through. So, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. They're not interested in Mackenzie Alexander. Look at the difference in that. I don't understand why they're so willing to trade away from Randall Cobb. God dang. Uh, so I guess we are going to trade away Trey Waynes, although I know a lot of you love him. We're still going to attempt to get another cornerback eventually. So, Ray, uh, Trey Waynes, and who else? What do they need? This is going to be relatively easy, I think. We have a left guard we can get trade away. Austin Shepard, or Zach Kieran? Karen? Zach Kieran? Is this going to go through? It's actually getting close. We have a ton of players. We have 76 players on the roster, so we need to trade away multiple players. So, defensive tackle as well, Tom Johnson. Freaking Tom. Is Tom going to be enough you to make this deal you. go through? And he <laughs> is. So, that was a lot easier than I expected, but we already bring in two superstars to the team. Randall Cobb and Marshawn Lynch are now Minnesota Vikings. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm starting to feel like this is easier than I expected, but at the same time, I don't need to get my hopes up because there's a reason why I waited so long. Like, in that connected franchise, I was trying, like, and everybody else, a lot of people's agreed, too, that it's super hard, but, like, maybe that's just one of the instances where it's just random that it's just a lot easier than you expected. I think I'm actually gonna end it there on the trade front for today's episode because there wasn't that many more suggested comments that were actually realistic. Like I said, the rest of them were, like, Julio Jones, etc. Now, if you guys still want me to try to go after those players, I mean, of course, comment them in the comment section below if they're the most thumbed up comments. I will try it. But we do have a lot of decent players I think we could potentially trade away. 
like we have two running backs that it's going to be up to you guys. I'm going to be looking for a top suggested comment. Do you think I should either trade away Latavius Murray or Jarek McKinnon? Or maybe trade away both of them because we don't need really three good running backs. You only really need two. So we could trade away both of these guys. And I'm still looking to trade away Sam Bradford. And Sam Bradford is worth $13 million. That's why I'm not worried about the cap room because we're going to trade him away because Teddy Bridgewater is going to be a starter because I have a man crush on him. But Sam Bradford will free up a ton of cap space. And hopefully... If what I'm thinking is correct, we should be able to get something decent in return. It all depends on if we try to trade for a player from a team that needs a quarterback. Now, I might go try to sign a few more free agents while we have the chance because we're going to end up getting the cap space back anyway. But on defense, guys, I think we really just need a backup middle linebacker, an outside linebacker on the right side, and a strong safety. And we definitely going to need a better corner now. Maybe I need to go sign a corner really quick. So I think just for now, while I have the chance, I am going to sign a cornerback and possibly Perry Riley as well. Because if you guys end up suggesting better middle linebackers and better cornerbacks, I can just trade these guys away and get their salary off my book. And it will just be free players coming in. So while I can, I think I am going to sign Tremaine Brock. And like I said, we can trade him away. And Perry Riley, which will leave us with like $2 million left to go. I'm not worried because we can still trade away Sam Bradford and everybody would just sign and we can get something back in return. So I think I use free agency to its utmost because we got a new center, got a new right tackle. We got a god dang new backup middle linebacker. Actually, he's going to start for us right away. We got ourselves a new third cornerback who's actually technically better overall wise than Trey Waynes. So we are currently one player over the roster size of 75 as of right now. And it's just getting on my nerves that Dennis Penn is on our team and he's out for like 30 weeks, although the pre existing injuries off. I'm just going to go ahead and trade him away and just free up a little bit of cap space. I mean, I know it's kind of stupid. We just signed him, so we go ahead and trade him away like right after we sign him. But it is what it is. So the Jaguars are like one of the few teams that actually need a tight end, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get anything from them. Can we at least get, let me just try to get a first. Like, I don't think it's going to happen in this year's game, but it, hopefully it might be close. That's that's actually pretty goddamn close. That's actually pretty freaking close. Now, we have a right tackle we can trade away to Jeremiah. You want Jeremiah? Uh, no, they don't want Jeremiah. So, uh, what do you want, Jags? What do the Jaguars want? I, I'm going to get a first-round draft pick. I really didn't think it was going to be that close, but apparently it is. So, maybe a third from next year will be enough to make this deal go through. And it won't. So we do actually get a first-round draft pick for Dennis Pitta, who we signed and just traded away for nothing. So uh, innovation at its finest. <laughs> I, really, I really didn't think that was going to happen, but it did. I'll take it. So with that said, guys, that does it for the first portion of the video. What we are going to do, though, is just play the moments in the preseason because I don't want it to take way too freaking long. And I want to go ahead and get through the preseason fast as possible. So I'm too much of an imbecile. I accidentally did not use the correct playbook into this game. But we're going to be great and hopefully win regardless. But we're at our... So we are at a third down and 12 at our own seven. So this isn't good. But I do want to say I accidentally did not use the correct playbook. So if I lose, that's my excuse for today's episode. This post is going to be open, isn't it? This post is open, and we have Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb's first catch as a Minnesota Viking all the way down to the 40-yard line. You know what? We'll go hurry up. Dang it, I was going to go hurry up and run the football with Marshawn Lynch. But you know what? I came out in a five-wide formation. So you know what? You can't do that when you come out in a five-wide formation because uh, he's not in the game. But we're going to continue regardless. Let's be great. Sam, run, Sam. Go, Sam. Sam's a beast. Sam, go. Go, 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 go. Don't, don't die. Don't die. You die all the time. Okay, Sam's good. Sam, get up. Sam's good. I don't want him to get hurt, so I don't want him to get, uh, what is near? That's interesting. I've yet to see this formation, but I was going to say, hopefully he doesn't get hurt, so I don't want his trade value to go down, although I'm not really sure if that's affected in Madden, but we're going to just pretend that it does. So this is an interesting formation. Let's see what we can do with this. Marshawn Lynch. Who to the, uh, that's two yards. That's not too good. But what number should I give Marshawn Lynch? Isn't he 24 in real life? Let me know in the comment section below what number I should give the big man, Marshawn Lynch. Because this is your guys' series. Everything is controlled by you. So, hopefully you control this touchdown that I'm about to get, right? Stephon Diggs is open. We're going to throw it. Stephon Diggs, go up. Stephon Diggs comes down with the reception. This receiver core is going to be leaked all the way down to the 18. Now, let's get Marshawn Lynch into the end zone for his first reception. First touchdown, not reception, as a Minnesota Viking. The running in this game is just so, like, inconsistent. Sometimes it's, like, OP and sometimes it's not. Like, there he's dead. Somebody, like, 18 ACLs just got torn right there, it looks like. 
So second down and 12. Let's just throw the football because I'm running the football right now is not working. So I don't have my playbook. You'll see my playbook in a minute. It's the most overpowered playbook in the game. And if I do well in weekend league, that's the only reason why. Because of my playbook, not because of my skills. So second down and 12. This could be good. We need time in the pocket. Need time in the pocket. There we go. Touchdown. Sam. Freaking Sam. He's getting benched. Well, he's already getting traded, but God dang it, Sam. <laughs> Freaking Sam. So anyways, now we have a third down and 12. Let's try some type of other route. And see if we can actually get a touchdown on this first drive of the preseason. I don't know why we're playing the moment and let us play the whole entire first drive, but I'm not complaining because we're going to score. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We need time. Need time. Need time. We have a guy open. Sam is trash, but Stefan is good. That was a pathetic throw, but thank God Stefan is good. So now we can potentially get the big man, Marshawn Lynch, into the end zone on our first drive of this series. Let's see if he can do it with the toss. Does he have the speed? What type of camera angle was that? Marshawn Lynch gets stuffed at the one. But he's not going to get stuffed two plays in a row. Because he's freaking beast mode for a reason. Did, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. I, I'm spiking the ball. I am spiking the ball. This is where you call a timeout. I genuinely don't even know how to spike the ball. And I just did it somehow. That's happened to me so many times, I, I've not even like taken out the time of my day to figure out how to spike the ball, and then I accidentally do it somehow. Maybe I need to pay more attention. So now second down and goal. We're going to run the ball right up the nip with Marshawn, and hopefully pick up a touchdown. Come on, Marshawn. Be beast mode. You're beast mode for a reason. Hot darn. Uh, five rushes for seven yards. Not the greatest of first drives. But I'm not going to hold it against them because I am the one picking plays out of the not correct playbook. Because I'm only good. You know, I use the right playbook. But anyways, I think we should be able to get this. If it doesn't show me that weird camera angle again. And it kind of did. It takes a long time. But Marshawn Lynch into the end zone for his first touchdown. We go 93 yards to score on our first preseason drive of the year. Did we miss the extra point? That's something else I noticed. When you sim the extra points, they miss it a lot. So into the second quarter, already the, the backups are already in. Into the second quarter, third down and five. Let's see if we can keep them from scoring a touchdown. Make sure we got this running back covered. Got him covered. Let's see if McKenzie Alexander does not get the stop. Nathan Peterman, man. This dude apparently is the GOAT. He was drafted in like the 87th round, and he's like a 75 overall in this game. Even an ultimate team, I think he's half decent. And uh, hopefully he does not score me on this first drive because they'll probably make the extra point and, and take the lead and beat me. And I don't want to ever lose in this series. Is all Madden to you guys more difficult this year than the years past? Because in my connected franchise with my friends, I know I keep keeping this up, uh, bringing this up, but like this is my little bit of experience against the computer this year because I don't ever play solo challenges on Ultimate Team. A lot of my friends, I'm, I'm 3 0. Like, I'm not one comfortably against the computer, but I'm 3 0 in that connected franchise. But every other one of my friends, there's like three of us or four of us in there, they're all 0 and 3. They, they're saying it's so much harder this year than in years past. Which, I can kind of see it, but at the same time, I'm still 3-0. So, like, do you guys think All Madden is a little bit more difficult against the computer this year? I'm going to leave that up to y'all. I don't think it's that much more difficult. Maybe a little bit, but I don't think it's that bad. But I'm going to let you guys decide that in the comment section below. But we need to pay attention here, and it's the playbook. I don't have the right defensive playbook either. That's all it is. Who's Jones? Is that Cardell Jones playing running back? Wide open receiver down the field. Teddy finds Laquan Treadwell who do not have the greatest of rookie seasons but maybe he can break out for a better sophomore year. He's like our fourth or fifth best receiver on the team so hopefully he can be better this year around. Great play calling for me. The same exact play twice in a row. It's going to work twice in a row. I can't speak but I can throw. Teddy Bridgewater anyway can. 3 of 6 for 48 yards in this drive. Not bad. You know what? Should we do it? Let's do it again. Brilliant Harvard play calling at its finest. That, if they send the same formation defensively, that might be open once again. Let's see if it is. It is. Can he fit it in there? Teddy Bridgewater is throwing some funny looking passes, but it's working some way or another. So we're going we're gonna to keep it going. Let's see which receiver can get open here. Uh-oh, this is bad. I just threw it. I just freaking threw it. I, and thank God, this game brings me in the freaking ball game with a first and goal at the two-yard line. They got a big old fat dude at fullback. That's Mike Tolbert. God dang, he looks big. Hands the ball off. We get a god dang face mask. So first down and goal from the one now. Can we have a huge goal line stand bringing everybody? And Nathan Peterman is going to score a touchdown. So now we are losing. See, they missed, they missed another extra point. I'm telling you guys, extra points. Or they need to be fixed. 
in uh, simulations because they just miss way too many of them. But now third down and two, the next moment, let's see if they run the football out of the shotgun, and they are. And we're going to miss the tackle, but thank God Curse gets ran over. Did he get the first down? I think he did. Did he actually? It's fourth down and inches, and with it being the computer, they are going to kick the field goal. So apparently leading up to the moment, our team cannot move the ball whatsoever offensively because I've not had one moment like offensively since the last drive. So we need to stop defensively here. And that's that's not the stop I was looking for. <laughs> not going to lie. So unfortunately, fellas, it simmed us to the end of the game. And we lose our first preseason game of the year, 23-9. But all that matters is nobody of importance got injured. I can't say that for certain because playing the moments, it does sim a lot. So I may have missed an injury. But, I mean, it's the preseason. Like, come on. We only played the moments. Teddy Bridgewater did not do well in the simulation. 9 of 25, 136 yards in a pick. So, guys, that is going to do it for episode number two of the Minnesota Vikings Madden 18 Connected Franchise Series. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, although we lost. But, I mean, like I said, it's still the preseason. So, let me know your trade suggestions in the comment section below. And the ones with the most thumbs up will be the ones we go after for next episode. Let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 likes so I can see you guys. You know, we're still going to enjoy the series, although the trades might be a little off, but we're still going to try our best. But with that said, guys, that's going to do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.